Hello, everyone. What up? Welcome hey. to the stream thing that we're doing. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone Hello. out there is doing safe. Um, everyone is here, and I'm going to pass this over to Ethan, who will be our DM for the evening. In this, the beginning of our 5e campaign. All right, thank you for joining us tonight, guys. Uh, Chaz, are we on the roll 20? Uh, yes, we are. We are oh, We are right. looking at the screen. We are live. Uh, so, uh, obviously, we are running again with the same five people we've been running with for the past couple weeks. Um, we are starting a, a <coughs> actual full-fledged campaign, no more one-shots. Um, and this is in a world that uh, I conceived of. The name of the world is Nuada. It is a completely... Um, airborne world, think kind of a steampunk floating airships. Uh, everything kind of works off balloons, kind of like that Bioshock Infinite kind of look, uh, except for instead of being metal and air balloons for the actual land masses, it's just land masses that are floating in air. Um, now I'll go ahead and give it off to everyone to go down the line and introduce their character, who they are, and then a little bit about themselves. We'll go ahead and we'll start with uh, Ignatius over here. Hi, my name is Jay. People know me. Uh, how you doing? Ignatius Blood Dust here. Nice to meet everybody. I'm a, uh, I'm a dwarven cleric, and I'm just trying to make sure the world stays safe, as long as that's uh, okay with everybody here. So uh, I hope to keep you all healthy. And then we'll go with uh, Thorntooth. I'm Thorntooth Beersbane. I'm a Furbolg Barbarian, known for my uh, sweet matches in the gladiatorial combat arena. I'm just here to crush skulls. And then, Billy? Hi, I'm Billy. And uh, me and my big buddy here, uh, we broke out of prison a while back, but uh, I'm not a crook or anything. I'm a, I'm a, a as you can see, I'm a gnome. And, uh, you know, I, I like uh, flashy clothes. Right? Hey, isn't that right there, buddy? Hey, we'll buddy! Go, uh, Tantor Mantar? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> My name's Tantor Mantar. I'm a Loxodon ranger. And I kill stuff. Riveting. Uh, we'll go on to Will of the Huntress. <laughs> Hello, I'm Olivia, or Willa the Huntress, and my character is a wood elf druid. All right, now that we've gotten to know the party a little bit, uh, and a little bit about the world, uh, so it's, like I said, it's mostly a bunch of floating land masses, and... Um, there is a bottom layer of clouds. Uh, now, that bottom layer of clouds is a lot of magical uh, energies are going around it. And it's kind of a... There are lands around there, but it's kind of like a lower class system. Kind of, you know, the, the higher up uh, in the atmosphere land masses are for the higher up people and uh, more well off in the socialites. And as you go down the, in the line... Uh, you get to the poorer uh, parts of society. Uh, every once in a while, land masses, uh, for some reason, will come up from the cloud base. And these are bits of land masses from the old world. They usually hold uh, a lot of treasures, but also a lot of dangers uh, for anyone that tries to uh, excavate them. Uh, our party uh, does have their own airship, which we will go to here in just a second. And a few people in the chat are saying that Ethan's mic is staticky, and I'm getting it too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's just see. yeah, it's coming in and out of it. Oh, I think it's when you turn it off and on, on your actual mic. How am I now? Like, well, do you have a a, a manual button that you're turning your mic off with? Yeah. Yeah. During that, yeah. it was just all on. That's uh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All it on is like way it, better. I think I can hear you when you turn your mic off. Yeah. Heard that. All right. Are we good now? Yeah. Okay. The chat will let Dude, me know if it's good out there and in just a minute. Yes, indeed. You. Uh, the party does have their own airship. It is a pretty sizable airship. That's uh, ours? You, uh, you don't have any crew. It is just the five of y'all. 
Um, however, it does have an upper deck, and then down on the below is a lower deck. You have three beds uh, taking shifts of sleeping. And then you have a little communal area. Uh, there's a nice little tree there and a little work st uh, station down at the bottom. Um, the tree is an apple tree. You know, you've got a, oh, we'll go orange tree. You've got to keep off scurvy. Uh, and so uh, I think the crew has come up with a name for the ship yet. So it is unnamed ship currently. Uh, if anyone wants to come up with a name for the ship. Uh, right now, the mercenary group that our team is, is currently just flying through the skies right now. Since it's an orange tree, could it be a naval vessel? <laughs> uh, you're you're mercantile, so I mean you can name it after a, a naval vessel if you'd like, but it is not an official na naval name. I don't like oranges. I mean, I'll eat your share of oranges if you want me to eat your share of oranges. Hey. You got. You gotta let the big guy say what he wants. You know, <laughs> he's kind of tall, so you gotta listen to him, right, big guy? Yeah, that's right. But uh, other things that are on the ship, uh, you do have a couple of uh, mounted javelins. You have Ooh. four of them. Uh, these are usually for bigger creatures and uh, for fishing. Uh, th the front two here do have uh, chains attached to them, so you can, uh, they're more carpoons in that sense, to where you can fire them out and reel them in. Uh, these smaller ones down here uh, just have loaded javelins. Um, what, uh, where's the helm? Uh, the helm is up here. Uh, left side. I'm the captain now. Hey, can, can we name I mean, the ship uh, Flatten the Scurvy? <laughs> I mean, it is up to a vote for uh, for naming the ship. Anyone wants to kind of bring a, bring a meeting and an action to order for that? I mean, if we're going to have discussions about the ship's name, there has to be puns involved. It's a Tropicana. ship. Tropicana. The Troppy Cannon? Is that what is that what the quiet one said? Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. I, I like, like this it. one. I don't like oranges. I think that's a yes. <laughs> sure, Trop sure. Yeah, whatever. Troppy Cannon, Troppy Cannon, Troppy Cannon, Troppy Cannon, Troppy Cannon. <laughs> um, so we're going with the Troppy Cannon? Yeah, I'm going to take... Uh, some of the rope out of my pack and hop over the side and start graffitiing Tropicannon on the side of the ship. Being like, just so y'all knows who we are! Okay. <laughs> uh, so it's now named Tropicannon. Um, go ahead. Give me a Give me a performance check for that. Oh, I have yeah. to do something for this. Okay, that was a smart <laughs> idea. Hold on. Let me get back to the screen that does stuff. <clears throat> a performance check, eh? Oh, I'm on my spells page. Sorry, I'm still getting used to roll 20. Uh, performance check. How'd I do? Um, he did do. do. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now, do too uh, well. now I want you to know that was not a natural one. <laughs> it's it's baby's first graffiti. Um, There's a big streak of paint down one of the. Yeah. It's, it's all streak. It's all that's all it is. It's just streaks. Um, you can kind of get that there's letters there, but it, it's mostly all streaks. Staticky again a little bit. I tried to do my best, guys. It's hard writing under these <laughs> conditions. Hey, Vili, I'm the captain now. Where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know where we could go. Uh, let's see. Nowhere near where they locked you up and me up. Well, they didn't so much lock me up as I was, uh, you know. Uh. 
I, I, I told, told the wrong joke at Queen's Ball. Um, so currently, y'all are in the uh, the lanes between, uh, in between. Uh, We're getting there's some kind of general static oh, again, Ethan. Really? Come on. Gotta love tech issues. The <laughs> only reason I will talk over people tonight is when they're static. Yeah. Or if someone in chat tells me something amazing, but other than that. All right, everybody um, in chat, you're responsible for holding him to task for that. <laughs> um, yeah, when if we if we go to a break, um, I'll try to get a different uh, headset and see if that works out. Uh, but for right now, uh, y'all are kind of in the lanes between. In between, there's there's general layers. Uh, currently, there's about nine kind of rough layers of settlements, and uh, right now you're between like layer two and three. Uh, so you're you're near the the bottom layer i mean it would take you about a week's travel uh to get down to the bottom le uh layer and you're uh, kind of sit between like t uh, about two days travel uh to the next kind of upper layer uh from you now there are way stations in between each layer for you know, weary travelers they're kind of like rest stops uh, they usually are stocked up on provisions but they have kind of a uh you know, take some, leave some system. Uh, so if you, you take provisions, you leave some for, um, you know, of a, of a different kind or, or what you can spare for anyone uh, coming through next. Uh, it's not, they're not really kind of manned or maintained outside of the people that just come and go from, from the way stations themselves. Uh, so currently right now, you're, the nearest land mass is uh, about three hours away. You've got a way station. Uh, Cap, do you recall if we have any cargo? Um, I don't have any cargo. Do you have cargo? I mean, that's a good point. If you have decided that you are the captain, you should know what our ship is, like, doing, right? Because I have no idea why I'm here. I'm just supposed to keep people healthy. Seemed like a good gig. I had S cargo for lunch the other day. Does that that's, count? That sounds yummy. We've got oranges. No, no, no. I'm the captain. I steer the wheel. Well, that's that's great. I'll technically, make but, you the helmsman. Where where are we going? So currently on uh, on board, you do have a couple crates worth of oranges because uh, you are you're producing oranges. Uh, you haven't had a recent job, uh, so so you don't have really have a whole lot of provisions or resources uh, to kind of barter with. Uh, right now, you're you're looking for work, um, but you you've got your oranges. I mean, I say we go sell some oranges. If they're not native to the island that we're from, you get paid double for them. Good. I hate oranges. Uh, uh, what what <laughs> island are you from, Ignatius? Uh, I am from the island of Nomenshire. It's weird. It's a dwarven island, but it's called Nomenshire. It's an old name. Uh, oh, but in reality, historically, in reality, oh. I was making an Animal Crossing joke. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, historically, it was a it was named by the gnomes who sold it to the dwarves. As a matter of fact, some of, this, some of this metal here, he takes out a little wind-up toy that just walks around in circles on the desk, is from those mines, from the original payment from the dwarves. Did you know that? I, uh, I was unawares of that. Yeah, I knew it. He tells me all the time. All right, so um, let's see. Willa, you're the, you're the one closest to uh, the bow of the ship. You want to go ahead and give me a perception check? All right. Let's see here. The only amazing thing from chat is someone called the dwarves colonizers because of that argument we just had. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you see everything. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, off to your left, uh, about 600 feet, you do see there is a swarm of bubble jelly. Um, if you want, you can go ahead and give me a uh, knowledge nature check. Uh, if you want to you know, learn anything about the bubble jellies. Yeah. 
Let's see. Uh, okay. So, uh, bubble jellies are jellyfish. Uh, they mutated from the jellyfish of the old world uh, when back when there were oceans. Um, and so now, instead of swimming through the oceans, they they drift through the skies. Uh, their name comes from the number of gas packed bubbles that are located underneath the umbrella of the head of the uh, the jelly themselves. Uh, they are frequently seen in swarms just lazily drifting through the skies. And uh, with their tentacles waving around to snatch up any small creatures, unfortunate enough to fly by. While they don't pose a whole lot of threat to... Uh, you know, discerning adventurers because you can just go around them. It is very dangerous to try to fly through them as they can easily paralyze an entire ship uh, in a swarm. Oh. Uh, and then about 400 feet in front of you, uh, you see what looks like a small uh, vessel. Hmm. Uh, they are coming towards you. Oh. Uh, let me warn everybody. Hey guys, there's a ship coming toward us. I mean, what kind of ship? Yeah, what's it look like? Good question. Uh, it is a um, looks about to be uh, a sleeker ship, a bit faster uh, of a ship than than y'all's is. Uh, y'all holds a, a good bit of cargo, or has the capacity to hold a good bit of cargo and a, a bit of crew. This one looks to be uh, like a size class lower than what your ship is. Uh, looks to be more uh, for for speed and agility. Uh, it, it does have, uh, you know, it has looks like two, uh, one wing on each side, and then it's got uh, you know, the the back propellers. So it looks to be like a, a speedy ship. Does it have any like badass stuff like flames or skulls painted on it? Uh, it does not. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go over here and wave at these guys. Is that a good idea? So they, they haven't made it to you yet. They are on an interception path with you. Well, but they can see me if I wave, right? Um, let's see here. Um, when you say intercepting path, does that mean that they're coming right for us? They are... They're coming in... They're, they're moving in an opposite direction than y'all. Y'all are um, heading in a northeastern direction they're heading in a southwestern direction so they're coming right for us <coughs> are yes. we talking uh, intercept uh, or ram uh inter in an intercepting path not a ramming path uh um, ah, it's good to know will, so willa does uh relay the message that they don't look like they're going full speed at y'all it looks like they as well as y'all are at a cruising speed yeah are we in like a friendly area that we're aware of do we have any so reason to be worried about everybody attacking us? So the lanes the between... Question? Oh, yes, of course. You, you feel free to give me a stupid answer. Is this the front of the ship, or is this it, the it front? It is. It is. Uh, so we got uh, front of the that ship, is. Okay. and then this is back of ship. Got it. Well, I'm assuming that I would be somewhere up near the front, and uh, probably not manning a cannon. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to work my way towards the cannon. Not really okay. like get on it because I don't want to show that I think they're going to attack us. Hostile or anything. Okay. Yeah. Can I see I'm over the, the edge of the? Can I see over the edge of the ship? Yes. So it like this. It, I mean, it, there's there's not like a huge barrier or anything like that. It the there's a little guardrail, uh, about uh, three feet, and then that's like three feet tall uh, off the gangplank, and that's it. And then you you have clear vision uh, all around. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wave. Okay. So you wave. Give me a perception check. A uh, perception check. I have so many tabs open because I'm dealing with the YouTube chat, dude. Hi, YouTube chat. <laughs> That'll get a response. <laughs> uh, perception check, perception check. There it is. Okay. So you you strain your eyes a little bit trying to see that far as they're coming in. Um you waved, you don't see a discernible response from them. Uh, they are now about 200 feet away from you. Okay. 
Um, are they, are they, do they, does it, do they look angry? Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Can I also oh, check on that? Uh, yeah, you can perceive to see if they're angry. Okay. Everybody uh, says hi. hi. I'm going to perceive just to see what they're doing. And I don't see a damn thing. It's probably because the rail is about six inches over my head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm trying to hop up to look. If they're looking, all they see is the occasional flap of a hat. I rolled a nat one, so am I blind? <laughs> so, <laughs> so the navigator is, is uh, un unused to his position and did not take into effect uh, into uh, account that the two uh, giant whirring fan blades are right next to him and they are kicking up a wind into his eyes and he can't see anything right now. Uh, he did not wear proper protective equipment onto his eyes uh, to protect from sun. Uh, however, uh, our fantastic, uh, you know, perceiving uh, barbarian thorn tooth is able to see that uh, he doesn't see any animosity from them uh, as yet. It looks like they are also mimicking uh, you all where the majority of their crew it looks like there are uh, in total to be six people on the ship uh, five of them are coming to like the sides in the front of the of the ship to get a better look of you uh, y'all as well and there is one person manning the helm uh, the person manning the helm has a nice little tri-point hat Nice. Okay, I'm gonna stand up on the on the bow, like on the railing, and do like a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then like, huh? Like, are we good? Kind of deal. Does Does he tell us that? Are you telling us that stuff? No, I'm just doing this. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep waving while he's doing that. Okay. Um. You see that the man at the helm sees your. Uh, you're gesturing, and it looks like he yells out something to uh, the rest of his crewmen, and uh, they all thumbs up at you, kind of like a. Okay, cool. Right, uh, so they are now pulling up next to you all, and we'll go to the next page. Hey, uh, hey, you guys like oranges? <laughs> I hate oranges. <laughs> Not, I mean, we know that, sir. I was talking to the other ship. Uh, so you now have uh, pulled, uh, even with the other ship, uh, over a nice little cloud, uh, and uh, you got, if they like oranges, uh, the captain of the ship comes over to the edge. See, Al already scoping out distances. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then the what you can assume is the captain of the ship, uh, and you, uh, Tantor, definitely assume it's the captain of the ship because he was at the helm, yeah, uh, much like you. And he looks, he says, "Well, I haven't had oranges in ages." Are you uh, having uh, oranges? Can I see him? Can I see his hat? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they are y'all are like fifty feet away from each other. Like y'all pull I wanna... up right like. Within I want to say to Vili, of each other. I want to say to Vili, I want that hat. Uh, do you say that out loud? Um, no, hey! it's more it's more under my breath, just to Vili. Vili okay. hey, ask gonna... me if I got a deal for you. And uh, the captain, who. Go ahead, uh, goes ahead and introduces himself as Krub Amor. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I don't know what that sound was. Yeah. Well, wow. and he, <laughs> he, he says, you, you, sir, he, he points at you, Tantor, and says, you, sir, have a very discerning eye. This is a fantastic hat. Uh-oh. Ooh, that guy has really good ears. I'm not gonna say uh, anything. I would have thought Tanner had the best, had the biggest. Well, the biggest ears, not the best. How many? How much? Uh, how much oranges for the hat? Well, see, now th th this is my hat. It was custom made for me. Uh, you know, that captain can't just give up his hat. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, however, I could cut you a deal. See, we uh, seem to be we we were pursuing a query that had taken something of our of our value, and they seem to have gotten away from us. And I'll cut you a deal if you help us find them and help us hunt them down. I'll let you know where I got this hat. I mean, that seems suitably vague for some guys on a ship who need help hunting. Let's do it. I want a hat like that. I he mean, is the captain. Ca- captain, do we know that these guys are good guys? I mean, they seem like good guys. Because I know you have good ears. You heard me say that. Well, if they're bad guys, we'll just kill them. Iggy. Iggy. I mean... Uh, We've talked about the random killing captain. I'm not a I'm not a fan. Well, it wouldn't be random if they tried to kill us. Billy walks over to Ignatius. You got a good point there, sir. Billy tugs on Ignatius' sleeve. Uh, what's Just up, little guy? To look down. What, what's uh, going on, little guy? Icky, can you uh, figure out whether they're good guys or bad guys with your uh, hocus pocus magic stuff? I mean, I uh, I don't technically have the ability to cast that spell at the moment because I'm a little tired right now. Ah, uh, that's a shame because uh, you know that would that would be very helpful in situations where we're negotiating. You know. I know I could tell if something they had was magic. I might not have made my uh, setup correct for the morning. Well, you know, you can never never be absolutely sure. Uh, okay. I was a thought. Uh, <laughs> you're not as tall as you look. I'm, 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 I'm exactly as tall as I look, unless that's some sort of cryptic message that you're delivering to me. It is. No, no, Iggy. Pay no attention. I like the Iggy thing, though. I might start going by that. I appreciate that, little guy. Iggy, it's perfect. It fits you. Anyway, hey, Captain Guy, are the people that you're chasing bad guys? Well, you know, uh, morality is a scale. Yeah. That answer answer makes it sound like you're the bad guys, sir. Uh, Suffice to say that uh, they took something that we believe is rightly. We, we, well, we, they took something that was ours, and we this would guy, like it back. This guy isn't even sure how to sell this on us. I don't know if he's on the up and up. What and are they doing? Politics? What did you say? Pol- politics. Oh, no. Are you in politics? I, I, I am a simple man of the lanes. He sounds like a politician. What'd they uh, take from you? Another hat. That would make sense. Uh, It was (laughs) an an article of treasure that I would very much like to have back. Hmm. What's your name, Crab? Crub. Crub Abram. All right. Well, where are they? How far away are they? Well, we we believe that they were heading towards the uh, northeastern waypoint. Uh, but we lost them uh, as they went through the sea of jellies. See, so I've never really seen someone actually do that, but I believe that they've made it through. That seems like a mad action. Well, I was never mind. I was going to make a reference to a thing that doesn't exist in our universe. <laughs> ah, I see you as well as a forward-thinking man. I am. I'm thinking about things that are years in the future, like action movies, which don't exist. So now, what's up, you? <laughs> there's action engravings. You just gotta run through the room with them. Haven't you ever seen those? It's a common <laughs> gnomish thing. Put a whole line of engravings, and if you run down them, and they seem to move. It's like a super inconvenient flipbook. Yeah. <laughs> so is insight sense motive in 5e? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Insight is sense motive. Oh, yeah, he's great. Oh. Can I also yeah. check on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoever wants to currently can do an insight check on him. Okay. I, would, I, 
I'm hoping he just tells me if he's a good or a bad guy. <laughs> he does seem like a pretty good guy for a politician. Hey, I, d I have insight. Easy. All you can see is the hat. <laughs> I have insight into how much I like that hat. <laughs> That's a beautiful nice hat. hat. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I don't know if Olivia, that will you. Uh, so... Uh, Willa I'm and Tantor. again. I'm sorry. Uh, Willa and Tantor. Uh, this guy's lying. Yeah, this guy's lying through his teeth. Oh, is he? Good. Then I can just take yes. his hat. Hmm. I'm not so sure. We should go on a wild goose chase here. So, what do you say? You help me hunt down these people, I'll let you know about the hat. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Vili. He's lying. Really? That's hard to believe. I was getting ready to vote for him. Uh, but what do you want to do, Cap? <laughs> Let's get that hat. <laughs> well, all, all right. right. Can we, can we try Do not to kill him? him? And then no one on board of the ship hears this. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm That's standing awesome. right next to that uh, cannon right there, so I'm just gonna be ready to shoot that at the captain. Whenever. Okay. Yeah. I what was I, gonna, I was do? wondering about that. Do we have to roll initiative to do anything, or are we? Uh, listen. So listen, currently, Trump. none of them are uh, hostile towards you. So if you take an action now of attacking, it's a surprise round. So you don't have that initiative yet. Uh, until you initiate the combat. And then Real after quick, that... Yeah. Before anyone does that, just listen, Crub. My friends seem to think that we should just move along and go to where we were going. You seem like a rational guy. You're okay with that, right? Well, I mean, you know, all, all are free to uh, progress through the lanes. I would not stop you. Sweet. I uh, turn around and make the eyes at Tantar and... Uh, the little one that, yeah, get him. Try not to kill him. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to shoot this cannon at the captain there. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, cast the sleep spell at the captain. Holy I will hell. also. Man, the harpoons. Depends on whether he, he has less than did. 24 hit points. Uh, he does not have less than 24 hit points. No. Then that didn't work. Yeah, now, these men have done nothing wrong to me, so I'm just going to be here for support. So, uh, we'll go in... Uh, so, everyone that is wanting to attack, um, go ahead and... So, Billy, you did your sleep? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yeah, he I got an action, have yeah. 24. Yeah, yeah, everyone will have their one action. The one action, so not like a full turn, but one action. Standard, uh, you know, attack or move or something like that. I'm gonna cast um, the hunter thing, uh, the hunter thing on him. You know what I'm mark? talking about? The hunter's mark. Yes, I want to cast hunter's mark on. Um, I want to cast hunter's mark on the on the crab man, the captain, because I want uh, okay. that hat. Okay. Um. So go ahead and. Do you hunter's mark? Um, I don't. Does it do anything? You you would just click it on your uh, sheet so that it shows up, so that we have track of like what it's doing. <laughs> it's, it's great. What is that? Is oh yeah, that, sorry. Is that, that is. It's against his is that a scene. one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you got it, Chaz. Oh no! <laughs> you just pat him on the back. <laughs> Good job. Um, I'm just going to walk up behind uh, Justin's character and put my hand on his back and cast Guidance, one of my cantrips. Okay, yeah, I, I saw that. And Tantor, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not marking the person I want to mark. He's really hitting people. He's doing good. So, Justin, so you know what that means is in the next minute of combat, you can add a D4 roll to the end of one of your checks. Oh, nice. Okay, so, uh, for so Chaz, for an hour, you'll deal an extra D6 to the target whenever you hit with a weapon attack. So that was your cast. 
Right. And then now whenever you hit it, you'll do an extra D6. Uh, and you yeah, have advantage yeah, yeah. on any wisdom or, or perception or survival checks make to find it if they run away. Awesome. Also, um, this uh, Matthew Orion chat said that sleep is a 20 foot radius. If any person, if any uh, bad guy within 20 feet of him has less than 24 hit points, they fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, none of them do. They have, they have more oh, than 24. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Matthew. Big Big Matthew. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tantor, you cast Hunter's Mark, so you'll do an extra D6 onto Krub. Uh, Ignatius, you cast Guidance onto Justin. Uh, Justin, you're getting ready to shoot the ballista, or you are shooting the ballista? I was going to lose, <laughs> lose it at him. Just... Okay, so it has to be loaded and aimed first. So it takes one action to load it, and then uh, you can fire it. Okay, so I'm just going to, like, you know, cautiously yeah. bend down, grab the arrow, kind of bring it up, and, like, slowly put it in there, load it, and just be ready to attack. Just just cautiously load weapon. Yeah, just super okay. casually, you know. Uh, and then, Willa, what are you doing? Oh, Willow's on mute. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Um, I will. I'm going to follow Justin's lead and just cautiously be ready for action. Okay. So you're going to load a ballista. I was going to say, right. Justin fired his, didn't he? <laughs> no, no. It, it he takes just loaded part. it up. Yeah. It's got to load up. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and. Going forward, can we just load them all the time and just have them ready? You can't really do that. No. No. Yeah, I mean, what if what if they what if they go off? That wouldn't be cool. <laughs> that's that's well, probably problem good is to keep them the, fully spring loaded. Oh, are we rolling the initiative? Would break. Yeah. So now we'll go or ahead and we will roll would initiative. Warp. Yeah. Um, are we rolling initiative? Yep. Go ahead and give us. Yeah, yeah. You, y'all have officially attacked them now. I mean, Billy cast a sleep spell on them. Uh, I would so like you to know that. Roll initiative. I haven't attacked a damn person. Don't worry, Iggy. You'll make up for it. Okay. Let's see here. So While we are rolling it. initiative, we had a couple donations in the YouTube chat. Davis North donated two dollars, and King R two K is back from last week. He donated ten dollars for another Nat one, and we won't cast the one we rolled before he got here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Static. You very much. You got a job to do, Tantor. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get that hat. Okay, Someone's I'm static and real bad. So while we're waiting um, and, and and ordering the initiative, um, just in case anybody's new, um, we do do this on Wednesdays at eight o'clock Eastern. Um, there was a mistake the other day, yesterday, where it was showing that it was streaming on Tuesday instead of Wednesday. I don't know why that happened. So apologies for any confusing, any confusion that was, uh, that was put out there because of that. But it is Wednesdays at 8, so we're going to try to make it as regular as possible. Um, and we'll continue doing it on YouTube and Twitch, um, until there's an issue with that. I don't think that there would be an issue for that. On YouTube, we have... Hold on, let me find it. I was trying to find the amount of people we have in the YouTube chat. But I have my YouTube all flipped around. 366. Almost 400 people in the YouTube chat. And we just got a $5 donation from Corey Zanotti. He says Chaz should run a D and D one shot for charity. We could auction off seats in the game and let Chaz run it on the live stream. Oh, that would be fun. Well, I might do that when I get more of my world built because the world building show is coming soon too. That's oh, that's thing. a good idea. Do it in that world. That'd be fun. Yeah. Well, my goal is once I build that world to only play D and D there ever. 
Yeah, Ethan. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting relegated. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. So now, uh, initiative turn order is up. Uh, so Willa is going to go first. Then we've got three of the uh, crewmen. And then Tantor, crewman, Billy, Ignatius, Krub, crewman, Thorntooth. Great. So, Clean yeah. up batter, bro. <laughs> Bring Take it away, Willa. home. Uh, well, I guess, can I fire this harpoon at the guy directly across from me? Are uh, you going to fire at this guy? Yeah, sure. If it's already loaded up. Yep. Um... So, yeah, go ahead, and that will be your full turn to go ahead and fire it. Go oh, ahead. Um, give me a ranged attack. Okay. Like a short bow, or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, okay. short bow will be, uh, will be fine, because it's just yes. your ranged attack. Um, yeah, By that'll the way, hit. somebody so... should shoot the balloons. Oh, man. Uh, so we'll do, uh, you'll roll 3d12. 3d12. Three D twelve. Okay. Oh my god, 3d12. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you, uh, loose uh, a harpoon, uh, through this person's torso, oh. uh, and it brings <laughs> them to the deck. Uh, he is profusely bleeding, but you don't see the, the spark of life has left his eyes yet. Wow. I bet the spark is something's happening in his yeah. eyes. Holy cow. Uh, so, uh, it's going to be this guy up now. Uh, he's going to run up. And then he's going to... That's far enough. Two shots. All right, so you'll get. Uh, so he loaded a cross uh, a crossbow, and uh, fired two shots at you. And one hit. Thank you, Ash. That'll be five damage uh, as a crossbow grazes your your upper uh, your left shoulder. And then up next. This thug is going to run, and he is going to... How far away are the ships, by the way? Uh, they're like 40 feet away. Uh, so this thug is going to run and actually leap uh, off oh. and uh, make a jump uh, to the to y'all ship. Wow, he's like one of them action etchings. That guy's got a death wish. He barely makes it onto the balloon, so he's hanging there on the balloon. Uh, and then up next uh, is going to be the thug that Willa pinned to the, the gangplank. Uh, he's going to raise his crossbow weakly uh, and make a couple shots at Willa. Oh. Uh, one... <laughs> Again, we'll hit. Well, Will, you kind of got to understand how he feels. And you'll uh, you'll take six damage as uh, a crossbow laces the other shoulder. So you got two two nice uh, gashes on your shoulder. <clears throat> uh, Tantor Mantar, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm not going to... I don't want to attack this guy... Uh, on the balloon. Okay. Because if I miss him, then I can blow our balloon up. Uh, so the balloons I, are pretty dirty. Like they're 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 not like thin party balloons. Um, that. Well, I they're... didn't think that they were party balloons, <laughs> but still. That's what it's like, that's what they said about the Hindenburg. They're not stone <laughs> oh, balloons, right? No. Like I'm a I'm an elephant after all with a great sword, <laughs> so I don't want to. Just chuck your greatsword into your balloon. Uh, that'd be a good way to derail, derail this campaign. Um, All right, so I'm going to attack him. Okay, you're going to go for the attack? <laughs> yeah, you've convinced me. <laughs> okay, so uh, he is hanging on, like, on the netting. Uh, and so you would have to reach over 
the railing to get to him, so you'll make your attack roll a disadvantage, uh, but you you are free to attack him. So you're kind of hanging there on the gangplank while you're trying to attack him. Um. Okay, here we go. Or hanging on the uh, guardrail as you're trying to attack him. Oh, wait, I can do it with this, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> so you... There's the nat one for R2K King. So you fling your man to, to try to make it over and, and slash this guy in the head. Uh, and you overestimate uh, how much weight you have to kind of throw around. Oh, no. Uh, and you actually end up flipping over the gangplank yourself. Oh, no. Uh, you land on the balloon next to him, and both of y'all are hanging on, uh, like, one-handed, facing each other. Uh, on the on the balloon. Great. Well, are you I okay? Think that's my, I, th I guess that's my turn. <laughs> All right, so we'll go. <laughs> Someone in chat said, I think Tantor might be really dumb. <laughs> it's just I mean, tall. Int, int may or may not be his dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> eh, maybe. Uh, so it's just tall. Uh, so up next is going to be uh, the man right here. And what he's actually going to do is he is going to uh, pull out. A boarding carpet or a boarding um, hook, and he's going to try to throw it over onto uh, the ship so it, it brings a line. Uh, and he will. <laughs> uh, it hits right next to you, uh, Mantar, and then uh, slides down. Uh, Billy, slides down as in misses? It miss yeah, it misses the ship. Okay. Uh, so cool. it slides Which down like that. Exactly the, the, the plan, button. but it'll have to do. Won't it? Uh, I've got to do that from the other page. Okay. And uh, my target is the um, the guy there that's uh, menacing Tantor. Right there. Yep. Okay. All right. So da 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 da. <laughs> Oh, I know that. That's what I did wrong. It was supposed to come out this way, because it's got the stupid joke on it. There, there go. we go. There we go. Yeah, I remembered seeing you uh, test those out before we we started streaming. I was wondering where the where the caption was. Okay, so uh, <laughs> wisdom saving throw. What is the DC? Uh, trying to figure that out. What actually? I uh, should be on the character. Throw. Yep, it should be on your uh, your character sheet on the spells section. Oh, what? my wisdom save. Oh, I got it. Now I understand. What's the, what's the, the DC? Fourteen. Okay, got it. Thank Sorry. You. Oh, you're fine. Getting familiar Ooh. with this. Uh, everyone's getting familiar with five E and so um, creature with a token. Okay, so you uh, tell a rousing joke, uh, and uh, Tantor hears it, but is eh, he doesn't think it's that. He's funny. heard it before. Yeah. I've heard it several uh, times would... before. <laughs> you only got one joke, and you use it every time. Uh, but the uh, thug next to Tantor finds it rip roaringly hilarious. Uh, and he starts cackling uh, with laughter, doubles over, holds his side, and you just hear a cackle as it slowly, slowly dissipates. And then he falls through the clouds and it disappears. The sound <laughs> oh. of his laughter. Gotcha, big guy. Get back in the boat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Actually, no, he's just gone. He's gone. He's not even dead. He's just gone. <laughs> so One has to uh, assume. <laughs> Yeah, some say he's still falling, laughing to this day. He'll uh, be but back we'll never one day. know. One day. All right, so Ignatius, it is your turn now. I, uh. What's my movement speed? I think 25? Yeah, probably, probably not 30. much. Probably not much. I'm little. Uh, Will is the only one who's taking damage, right? Correct. 
I'm you're not actually, little. You're a dwarf. I mean, I'm not little. I'm not as little as your buddy. Dwarfs are medium, gonna, yeah. He's huge. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, dwarves are medium, but they they have a twenty five foot movement speed. Their uh, their legs are short. Uh, they're short legged. I say. Yeah, we're stubby. <laughs> they're short. We're short. <laughs> they're short. Oh yeah, I'm short. Uh, All right, what are you doing, Ignatius? Uh, is there any? There's nobody from the bad guys on our ship right now, right? Currently, no, not right now. Um, I'm gonna hold my turn. Okay. If I'm allowed to do that, like, you can do that in five E, right? Yeah, you, you can just like move and then take no other action. Yeah, like, I'm gonna. Kinda... Do, you can do a full like if you're trying to get over to Willow, you can do a full move, uh, so you can spend your turn or your full turn to do double your movement speed, and that'll be fifty feet. That's probably a good idea. I'm gonna hang a little bit back from her. Okay. Or just use my don't, full movement to get over draw there. the ire of everyone else. It's yeah, weapon. no, I I had nothing to do with this fight. I'm just here trying to keep my friends safe. Okay. That was so, not a Jersey accent. That fell off for a second. So it is now uh, Krub Abram's turn, and he is going to possibly ill-advised, but he's going to go for it because he's a daring, swashbuckling rogue. Uh, do what his compatriot tried to do, and jump to the uh, jump to y'all's ship. And roll twenty is taking its time to roll the dice. Come get some. He's marked. Uh, he will kind of go down into this little uh, outcropping here, and then from there he will make a running jump and leap. Uh, and he actually hangs on to the to the javelin itself and then pulls himself <laughs> up. Uh, and then Thorntooth. Yes. You don't get it. Okay. Oh, he's right there. That'll be easy. Yeah, he's, he's right in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be much easier to kill you when you're right here. Yes, we're completely surrounded. It'll be easy to fight the enemy. Ah! Does two quick slashes on you. What's your AC? Uh, 15. 15? So uh, he does two quick slashes on you. The first one uh, pings off of the the uh, handle of the ballista itself. But he kind of, off that deflection, redirects it across your chest. And you will take... Uh, you'll take 10 points of damage as his short sword rakes across your chest. Oh, oh my god. Thanks for following, Danasaur. Alright, and then we got this thug up. Uh, so this thug is going to uh, take a pot shot, a couple pot shots at Mantar, or Tantor Mantar. Uh, and bo so you, you hear two heavy, like, two crossbow bolts whiz past your ears. Uh, and ping into the balloon. Uh, and then Thorntooth, you're up. All right. Um, what I want to do is hit him in the head with my great axe. Uh, so his head like, impales. Oh, I love this shit. <laughs> so his head, uh, <laughs> if it would be possible to impale his head on the uh, cannon, that uh, way we'll I can shoot him back at his ship. We'll, we'll see. Eventually. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and roll to hit. Ugh, man. Best Wait, can I roll a D4 right now? That'd be cool. To add to it? Uh, the guidance was... I believe it was a check. Let me go back to the... Oh, I thought I just got to extra, roll an extra D4. One oh, ability my check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got One you. ability check, yes. Yeah. Uh, so that will that one will miss. Cool. Do you have another attack or anything? I think you only get the one attack right now. You only get one? Okay. Yeah, for the moment. Raged. All right. Uh, so you, you, you can still, still have, like, rage. A... Yeah, I'll go ahead. You and rage. can still rage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a mighty roar, Thorn Tooth. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude! Jeez, you gotta warn <laughs> me next time. Uh, and then you you still have your movement action. Uh, if you'd like to move at all, uh, I'm otherwise just gonna get as close as I possibly can to him. Uh, y'all are staring like, each other in the face. Yeah, well, I'm going to get, get closer. In the same square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that he's like he's like ba he's like there balancing <laughs> he's like balancing on the uh, on the ballista right now. Okay. Uh, and then, <laughs> Willa, it's your turn. Well, I determined that the captain is more of a threat than the guy straight across from me. So let me shoot my bow at him. Oh, this this might go well. Does it, does she get like a flanking bonus? Uh, no, because she. she, she uh, whoa. So I think uh, I think Olivia's headset picked mine up. Did you just go down a water slide? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Disney World's closed. Knock it off. Uh, no, we make our own Disney World. Uh, so that that will hit Olivia. All right, and what? Sh let's see. Uh, it is a D6, six. plus your dexterity. Just one. And dexterity is... Four? Wait, yeah, four. All right, four. so that'll be ten. Oh, nice. Max damage. So, yeah. So you side up your arrow as he is kind of swaying on the on the short sword. You you see a, a sly smile as he's fighting uh, Thorntooth. <laughs> and he gets blindsided by an arrow uh, slicing across his thigh. And he looks to you and he goes, Oh, you wait, Missy. I'm coming for you next. <laughs> oh. I don't think you'll make it that far. He uh, won't. And then... Oh, God. So you are uh, Tantor Mantar. You are being bombarded right now by crossbow bolts. Uh, one of them out of the four make right purchase. Back. Oh, great. Uh, and you'll take six points of damage uh, as one just, just gives you a piercing in your ear. Making me down to 33. Uh, and then now, Tantor, you are up. Oh, is it my is it my turn already again? Yes. Yeah, we're we're uh, going through these initiatives. All right. Well, then I'm going after the captain. I want the hat. Okay. You'll have to go ahead and give me uh, a climb check to make it up there. You're you're on the ropes right now. Literally. <laughs> um, it's not a climb check though in five e. What is it called? Athletics. <laughs> Athletics. They just lump it all together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you one hand just vault up there. Hell yeah. The, uh, you pull with so much strength that the oh, ship itself strength. bucks a little bit. All right, cool. Well, then I'm going to run over there and attack the crab man. Okay. <laughs> Go get him, Tentor! Um, all right, so how do I do this again? Um... Or you have your okay. macros, so you should, yeah. Uh, uh-oh. I don't know if I'm going to choose the right target. That's fine. Doesn't matter. 17. Uh, that'll hit. Okay, cool. Um, and is, is there a macro for damage, or should I just do the... No, just do your damage. Okay, so it's 2d6. Is it plus strength? Yeah. Uh, 13. 13. Not great, but... Oh, nope, not... Oh, no, and I need another... I, actually, it's an extra D6. Yep. Cause you also, do, has he, is your has he taken damage? Uh, he has, he has taken a point, uh, some damage from Willa. So he's below his max hit points. He is below his max hit points. So I also do an extra D8. So one yes. second. Is that fuzz still coming from you, Ethan? I'm sorry to keep bringing it up. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, we'll we'll break here in a bit, and I'll try to get a different headset. Um, so seven more, so twenty yeah, in total. Yeah, so twenty. Okay. Take that, crab man. Okay, so you vault up, uh, pull like pulling the ship a little askew as well with you, uh, and then run over, and in your run, you 
bring your full might of your uh, your great axe and sl like slice into him. Uh, you get a good meaty chunk of his arm uh, as he was swaying back from uh, the ship's wing, and then you pull your your great axe out, and he's bleeding a good bit, like running blood down his right arm. Yes, that hat will soon be mine. <laughs> Okay. So these are going to start taking a couple more pot shots at you. So you you are the one that's threatening their captain. So they're going to be running at you and taking another hit. I mean, the lady threatened um, the captain too. And she didn't do too much. <laughs> uh, not yet. Uh, and But you'll take five more points of damage uh, as... Uh, another crossbow pierces your other ear. Oh, jeez. How hero. much damage? I'm sorry. Uh, five. And a few people have pointed out in the chat, including one donation that I think the guy donated, that if you click the name of the weapon in chat, it will roll the damage for you. Heard that. Thank oh, you, boss. the guy. Thank you. Thank you. A bunch of people pointed that out, but that guy gave us money, and his name's The Guy, so there we go. I assume I yeah, can run up there? Well, yeah, you, you can run up there. All right, that I'm going to take. Oops. The, oh, the, oh, the, oh, oh, oh. Didn't need to jump off. I will uh, take my little staff <laughs> in two hands and attempt to put it where he'd prefer to have a lubricant. Oh. And I missed. <laughs> uh, do you... You accidentally actually have lubricant on it, and it's, it just slides, slides around. <laughs> makes no purchase. You don't know where that came from. <laughs> mm. Did you use my staff again, Tantor? No, I only use Deadmaker or Heartstopper. I thought you cleaned your nose out with it like a Q-tip. I know, trunk, trunk, trunk. I'll get used to that someday. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ignatius, so you don't have a fine schnoz like me. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on right now that involves me. How are you feeling, lady? Uh, I'm thinking about protecting these oranges. All right, well, the boss over there looks a little <laughs> bit hurt. I guess I could try to help them. Uh, so uh, to move back all the way over there, it would take I'd your take full, my whole your shit, full I know. Get, Yeah, That's why I'm having issues trying to figure out what I'm going to do. It's like Wimbledon watching him. I'm trying to be the healer here, but you guys aren't getting very hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll see uh, what we I'm, can do. I'm hurt. Actually, I am going to. I'm going to fall back. That's not okay. right. I'm just going to go up behind them for my whole turn. That'll be my turn. I'll just be behind the boss. Okay. Uh, so, Krub's Cr looking a little uh, a, a little ganged up on. Scurred? He should. He should be scurred. Oh, he's not He's not scurred at all. He just, you know, this is what he lives for. Uh, he, he turns and says, Ah, oh, I see you all are uh, also men of adventure. Going three on one on one guy. Mm. This reminds me, yeah, back in the Battle of Fortstad. It was amazing, I tell you. Now, uh, on to this continued battle. Uh, I heard you wanted my hat, good sir. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Uh, so he he takes the hat off of his head, puts it on your head, And then he whips it away, and in the in the place uh, of the hat, he's got two sword strokes coming at you. <laughs> I mean, oh, that was kind of so cool, boss. You should duck. He's a clever guy, he thinks, huh? Okay, so <laughs> both of those will hit. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, and then with the uh, two... Uh, Long sword strikes, you will take fifteen points of damage. Ooh. So that that 
cuts up your trunk a bit. Good thing the cleric's here. Uh, and then he will disengage. Nope, that is Thorn Tooth. <laughs> I was standing on his toes. <laughs> he will disengage down to the balloon. Do I get an AO? Uh, he disengaged. Disengaged. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't prompt an AO. And then... Oh, it's that folks' turn. Hey, Mark, thank you very much for your generous donation. And happy that we can provide some some form of entertainment for you. Um, and since Chaz is pounding that off, I have a couple other donations that I've been writing down so I'm not just interrupting everybody. Ash donated $5, hoping that Chaz gets his hat. Oh, I'm getting that. Scott donated $10 towards the Hat and Balloon Kickstarter Fund. Uh, Black Sundafelian, who was here last week, donated, I think he donated $2. I didn't write it down for a water slide trap going off, which is funny. <laughs> and Caboose124 donated $10 and said that, Chaz, you inspired them to write a side quest for Beauregard the Badly Burned Bard in their home campaign. Oh, that's awesome. Can you send that to me? If you're still here, can you send that to me? Send it to Manfred. Caboose, Caboose 124. Look at your screen and send Chaz the uh, outline for that. Send it to manshortsdungeon at gmail.com, please. I'd love to see it. All right. So uh, with one of the crewmen seeing that uh, their captain has disengaged, uh, you see him reach into his pouch and throw up a vial of like red liquid uh, at Crub. Uh, Crub turns and catches it. Uh-oh. And then... Oh no! Red around. liquid! Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, take this cannon here and aim it right there at Crub. <laughs> take a shot. Hey, you gonna shoot a ballista at your balloon? Uh, well, hopefully at Crub. <laughs> okay. Mm. You know, I'm gonna aim it so it's like a sh shoulder or something. But uh, you just want like javelin. Uh, you make a ranged attack. Yeah, I don't have any ranged weapons to do that quickly. Is it just um, dexterity plus proficiency? Uh, you're proficient in. Yeah, you're not proficient in it, so it'd just be your uh, twenty plus dexterity. Cool. I like how I expressed like great concern early on about a sword, and Justin's like, "I'm gonna fire our javelin into the balloon." <laughs> and I rolled a oh. two, so four all together. Uh, that'll uh, whiz one. off uh, into the sunset, and by oh. sunset I mean the the clouds. Okay. Guess I'll jump down there now. Okay. So, <laughs> you jump down there. Yeah. <laughs> Huzzah! And then we'll go back top of the round to Willow. All right, I'm gonna. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to poison him. Uh, uh so poison spray only works ten feet. Oh, uh, so it would not be able to reach him. All right, well, back to bow and arrow. I tried. Okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, go ahead oh, and no. give me an attack roll. <laughs> All right, uh, damage. Sorry, not attack roll. Damage, yep. Nine piercing. Oh, you would almost maximize that, too. Um, so you... Aim up for Krupp. Yep, you aim up for Krupp. And uh, he sees it coming. And with his uh, longsword, he actually deflects it over his head as he ducks. And the path continues into uh, into Thorntooth. Are you kidding me? Great. Uh, and Thorntooth will take it in the chest. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
This guy's evil. He goes, ah, you tried. You thought you had me. But none escaped the valiant crab. I hate I like this crab when guy. I like when Ethan gets loud. We can hear him on Olivia's mic, too. <laughs> I'm like... He's in the two, other room. I'm, I'm two rooms away. <laughs> hey, uh, Igna Igna Ignatius, could you uh, throw me some heels here? Or like a potion or something? Uh, don't worry. I'm about to. Thank you. You look you look fine. <laughs> Just like flapping around on this balloon. <laughs> Being shot at by the elf. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so you're yelling at Ignatius to to throw you a bone uh, here, and uh, a crossbow uh, lances your thigh, and you'll take six more damage. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Where are you at now? Okay. 19. Yeah. I'm just making sure I had it uh, up to date on my end, too. And then Tantor Mantar, you're up. Um, all right. I want to throw my uh, trident at the crab guy. Okay. <laughs> uh does a nine <laughs> what do you say uh, a nine does not hit give me one second here uh, however it does uh actually lodge itself in the netting here so your your trident is not yet lost uh it is hanging figuratively by a thread um, okay, and then I want to go, uh, I want to move over here now, but I still want to be on the ship. Yep. Okay. If you use the alt button, you can move yourself a half of a space to show yourself on the ship. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, cool. Hey. All right. So up next is going to be this crewman and he is going to try to put on boarding group hey uh hey guys could it be a valid option to steer the ship away i mean and, i'm uh, not so doing the... anything until i get my hat so well <laughs> he's on our ship uh makes it right next to you uh tantor and hooks on and it pulled top and then he starts making his way over. Oh no! All right. Um, we'll get there. Uh, and anybody want to cut that rope? Billy. Billy is going to do this. Billy's <laughs> going to set the ship on fire. But I checked to make sure it wasn't level. But Thorntooth does not take any of that. Oh, sweet. Because I have doing... spent... Yep. So you're Crappy choosing... Six damage. Hmm? Okay. And then it's a dexterity saving throw, or just straight up? Uh, like I know. For burning hands. Burning hands. Running out of spells, gentlemen. <coughs> dex save, yes. It's a dex save, okay. A DC 14? I guess it doesn't say otherwise. I should have it up. Oh. I could have cast that as second level, which is what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, so that'll add another D6. For some reason, it didn't ask me. Usually it does. I thought maybe I screwed it up. So. Okay. So, yeah, roll your other D6 of damage. Add another three. Add another three. Okay, so it'd be 12. Uh, they both take it. Uh, does the other guy... I'm being comp terribly honest here. The other guy does not take uh, it. Yeah, he doesn't take it. It's just out of reach. Uh, only Crub will take it. And that was... 9. 12 damage. 9. 
Oh, uh, don't mix it up with mine. Yep, so that'd be nine. Six plus three, yes, nine. Yeah, I was looking at uh, my roll too, and I was adding those two together. So, no, well, if he if he wants I'll twelve be damage, that'd be all right. Throw uh, a little and... barbecue sauce on him, Tentor. So it uh, chars a little bit, and the crewman that is making his way across feels the heat a little bit, uh, but but doesn't actually get any damage on him. Um, the one tooth, you you are engulfed by the heat, but you don't feel any heat at all. So it's nice. <coughs> I just think it's the rage. Nation, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're up. You said Ignatius? Yes. Uh, I am going to uh, look at Thorntooth. How you, how you feeling, buddy? Th Thorntooth, you okay? Is he dead? <laughs> uh, yep, I'm Is sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I, I, how, you, how you feeling over there? You doing okay, buddy? No. He seems no. woozy. <laughs> I, he doesn't. I don't think he heard me actually ask him if he was okay. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of the uh, the curing spells at him and go poof. Oh, I see you old. And here are nine points. I appreciate that, dude. Try not to lose any of those. <laughs> No promises. And I'm gonna Alrighty. chill. In, I'm gonna chill in my position. Okay. Uh, so up next is Crub. Uh, so Crub is uh, going to take an action to pop open that uh, red liquid. Oh no! The Kool Aid. He's he's gonna drink the Kool Aid. Oh, that can't. Does be he good. die instantly? Uh, unfortunately, he does not die instantly. Uh, it actually looks like a couple of his wounds uh, on his, uh, and like the especially the one on his arm, stitches itself back up a little bit. Oh no! It was one of those energy drinks. Uh, and then he'll he'll move, and this this time it will provoke an AO uh, from you, Thorn Tooth. Hey. Oh, you think they're carrying more of that on their ship? Oh, oh good lord! Yes. Oh, yeah, that was that the AO. Hit. Yeah, that's the AO. Yeah. <laughs> you created an AO. Nice work, dude. Down to this. Uh, so first one, I'll take twelve. Uh, so, and then he just rolled two. Oh, nice. Oh, twelve and Jeez, sixteen 20, or 15, six, four, 15. Ignore me. Yeah, so 27? Yeah. All right, Jesus. Uh, so we healed all that just to get it reopened again. Uh, you you have a great axe as well, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, he is not doing well with great axes. Uh, get ready for does... some action. For me and Chaz. Uh, I have we, a... <laughs> <laughs> Should we what? have called the ship action? That's a good pun. I have a, a great sword. Oh, oh, I thought you had a great axe. Not a great axe. Okay, you have a great sword. Never mind. Oh, oh. Not the axe, brothers. All right, so it's going to be uh, this crewman, and he sees that there's been a little... Uh, too little of action over uh, over in this here direction. He's going to take a shot. Ah! Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> oh, come on. Your cover's blown. I wasn't even... <laughs> <laughs> you are standing alone on like a platform. Yeah, uh, you'll take five damage uh, as a crossbow bolt uh, pierces your side. And yeah, then, how on fire is our ship right now? It's not on fire. Uh, okay. The, yeah, it, nothing's flammable. I mean, unless you have like heavy fire onto it, it is wood. Uh, okay. But it's not gonna it's not gonna light on fire from burning hands. I check. Uh, throw in tooth, you're up. Hey, yeah, I'm just gonna crawl over to that guy. Okay. I, I love the implication oh, of uh, 
Billy being like, I checked. I checked to make sure my burning hands wouldn't set the, the ship on fire. Like, he's just been spending his time slowly, like, trying to burn uh, unseeable spots of the ship <laughs> just to make sure it doesn't actually catch on fire. Like a little kid testing his boundaries with a light <laughs> yeah. on the closet. He, uses, he, he was using the orange <laughs> tree for years, but it keeps growing back. <laughs> You have like a you have like a, a cleaner. And it's like wow. if you're unsure if it'll like leave a stain, test it on on like an unseeable spot first. He's been so doing I, that with burning. I crawled over there, rolled a nineteen to uh, hit him in the back as he's like crawling away, and I did okay. six damage. All right. Oh, uh, plus two. Yeah. Oh, so it should be for raging. Yeah. So, so eight damage. Eight. All right. Um, he's he's looking pretty worse for wear now. Um, miraculously, though, that hat has stayed intact the entire time. That hat looks even better. It has a little bit of the fraying on it. You have to pay extra to buy them like that at the store. I can't wait to get it. Uh, Willa, you're up. <laughs> how, do, how do I erase that line that I drew? I can't figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, okay. I'm going to aim for Crub again. And, um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that hits or not, but yeah. Um, an eight will not hit. Oh man! It, it would have done five damage though. <laughs> All right, up next. I'm gonna get. I'm just rolling all the the crossbow salvo attacks. Oh, that's good. At least we know that you're keeping busy with doing lots of damage to us. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Tantor, the first one is coming at you. The first two are coming at you. Uh, one will hit, uh, and you you even see it sailing towards you, uh, and you'll take six points of damage. Uh, as it pierces your trunk. Oh! And... Oh, yeah. And then I'm not the, the other two are coming your way. Got him uh, in the old air straw. <laughs> one will hit there. The old snorkel. That's the old snorkel snake. <laughs> You always uh, wanted you, to have a piercing for that thing. You'll take seven damage as one of the crossbow bolts pierces your hand in, like, into the balloon. Sweet. It's like a socially acceptable Prince <laughs> Albert. Oh, God. Uh, Tantor, you're up. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to run over and attack Crabman. Uh, people in the chat are saying static. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to get that here figured we out on what's going on with all that. As soon as we kill this captain, we're going to take a break, and then we're going to make Ethan and Olivia trade headsets, if nothing else. Well, I'm not going to hit him with a 13. <laughs> yeah, so that that will miss. And I just thought everyone's like clambering on these balloons uh, together. I'm standing very comfortably <laughs> on wood. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable know. with that. No, I'm peeking out through the through the gaps of the rail, watching. Uh, Tantor, anything else? Uh, I can't do anything else. <laughs> uh, so up next is going to be this thug. He, he's going to finish his movement over to your side. Uh, and then he's going to run up to Ignatius. Uh, and then in his hurried run, he's finally going to be able to get to do something. He trips and falls and slides on his knees in front of Ignatius, looking up at him. <laughs> With now puppy dog eyes, because uh, uh, please don't kill me. Iggy, I think you got a convert. Uh, Billy, you're up. <laughs> well, that changes my plan. Uh, let me see. That's like five. I could pass through him. That's 10, 15. 20. Now, oh, what the hell? Stop here. And. Uh, hey, Billy's name isn't showing up on my screen. Yeah, mine either. Let's 
see here. He's ghosting around the place. He's ghosting uh, since, everywhere. Since we're figuring things out, we've had a couple other donations. We had Donuts the Mighty, who has a dope username. That's amazing. Who said we're giving him inspiration for a game he's trying to run. And Jeff Tillis donated $5 and wants to know, this made me laugh, so I'm going to word it the way he put it, how <laughs> Ethan and Olivia are related since they're in the same house. <laughs> oh, uh, only if we're in Alabama. <laughs> I think they're dating. They've never actually told me that, and I've been to her house before. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. You know. I'm actually just a squatter here. Yeah, he just started uh, showing up. I don't know. He just lives there. <laughs> and this wasn't a donation, but a girl that I work with drew fan art of Chaz's character and said, we have to get that hat. Yes. Oh, I dude, agree. I'm excited to see that. Yeah, I'll text that to you. Her name is Emily. Hi, Emily. Well, at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to recruit that guy into our crew. <laughs> Hey, uh, and hey, I ask him, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, give me a pitch. Why don't you join our crew? Uh, uh, Free uh, oranges, uh, elephant rides. <laughs> Not from me. Uh, you you <laughs> had him at the, the free oranges, and then you said elephant rides, and he has a terrified look on his face, and he just kind of clamped up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't worry. He doesn't ride you that far. <laughs> is he? Is uh, he what you might say? Is he what you might call prone? Well, so uh, Travis uh, is to you, join our crew. <laughs> uh, anything else you got, Billy? That's it. Okay, uh, Ignatius, you up? I got you. Hold on. Pardon me if I make things appear in the chat. I want to see the difference between two spells real quick. Oh, Just I didn't. hit the I button. Hit the yeah, I, I didn't. I did not know if that would put it in chat or not no. because it right. has. Um, I am going to. Nice. Uh, I think I am going to walk over towards. Where's my character? I'm like mixed up with Villy. Yeah. I'm gonna walk over. Can I touch uh, Tantor over the edge if I'm standing by him since he's still out on the edge? I don't want to. No, no, go I'm on the edge. ship. Oh, okay. He, he's, yeah. I'm gonna go stand right behind he, him. He's or, like, he's like reaching over trying to whop him. I'm going to reach down and touch his ankle and cast cure wounds <laughs> at Ooh. the second level. Which I'm trying to figure out how to do that in D20 or in Roll20. If you hit the macro, cure wounds, it'll ask you what level to cast it at. Oh, gotcha. All right. So cast at level two. All right, so that'll be 11 yep. points in total. Awesome. So now, now there you go, Captain. Now I made sure that the healing, the uh, the piercing in your trunk, heals properly, so you can keep it looking good. Thanks, pal. No problem. I'm here for you. Oh, and I stepped really rudely over the prone guy. It just right over. I yeah, I didn't touch him, but he could tell that I was being a dick. <laughs> 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 All right, and uh, now it's Krupp's turn. How's Krupp doing? I mean, Krupp's he's kind gonna, of a douchebag. Krupp's got to stand and fight. Uh, Captain's an idiot. All right, so he'll do two slashes, and one will hit you, Thorn Tooth. Uh, so that'll be six points of damage. Okay. And then it's this guy's turn. Uh, he's going to keep taking shots. I feel uh, like these douchebags will run if we get the boss. 
uh, Olivia, yeah. both of those crossbow bolts whiz past your head as you're ducking underneath the, the ballista. Good, because I probably couldn't take another one. Uh, throwing two throughout. All right, I'm going to cough and spit blood into his face. And then I'm going to say, <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> okay. That was pretty badass. Hope you hit him. <laughs> Get to finish the joke. Knock, knock. Even. Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you going to entertain his knock-knock joke? I'm not going to entertain his knock-knock joke, no. <laughs> uh, who's oh, there? Uh, so eight damage Krub, altogether? Crub is not going to entertain his knock-knock joke. Eight damage? Okay. Hey, I'll Next, entertain it. Plus two for region. Yep. I, I would like to know who is there. Uh, orange. Oh, orange who? I hate orange. Oranges. Glad I didn't say great axe. And then I would have hit him. But... That, that would have been great, man. I'm glad you wanted to do that. That was inspired. That, that right, wasn't thanks. a joke. All it did was remind me how much I hate oranges. <laughs> so, so with your spear, you actually pierce. You're aiming for his heart. Uh, <laughs> but with, with the the ship sh- kind of shaking and, and going, you know, <laughs> all wonky in the wind because no one's at the helm, uh, you get his right lung instead but your spear goes clean through ah okay uh, you, you you feel uh, his grip weakening on the, on the on the net but he's still got a fire in his eyes Willie you're up alright man will... if you would have died that would have been great after that joke dying is never good <laughs> I mean, I agree, but, like, thematically. Oh. Take my Uh, chance. So a 13 will not hit, unfortunately. (laughs) Come on! (laughs) All right, I tried. Does he get two shots? Uh, No, level three, they only have, uh, everyone only has one. Uh, That sucks. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, these, the, the ones that have been taking the, uh, salvo shots, seeing their, uh, their captain in dire straits are both going to, uh, reach into their pouches to also again throw a red liquid, uh, a vial of red liquid at him. Uh, one actually goes sailing over his head and lands, uh, on the gangplank and skids. Oh, don't move the whole ship. Dibs. Uh, and skids over here. Uh, the other one hits the balloon right here, bounces off, and goes sailing into the abyss. You guys can have that one. Tantor, you're up. Uh, all right, I'm going after Crab Man. Okay. So are you going down onto the balloon, or are you still kind of dangling over? No, I'm staying over and swinging at him. Okay. It, all right, go ahead and give me an attack roll. Oh, my God. This is <laughs> awful. You're, you're, you're finding purchase on air. Have you rolled over a 10, Chaz? I don't think so. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sure there's a All record right. of it. <laughs> um, anything, anything else, Jazz? Uh, no, I can't do anything. Okay. Uh, so up next is going to be this crewman's turn. Uh, and he <laughs> noticed how rude you were stepping over him. Uh, so you hear a, a like a war cry behind you, Ignatius. Uh, and he's going to run at you. Uh, Villy, you can get an attack of opportunity if you'd like. Yeah. Um, Go ahead and roll see. it. Uh, what did I do to you? That's got to be a physical attack, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that'll hit. Wow, oh, uh, nice. So, uh, so that's five damage. 
So you, as he gets up to go run at your compatriot, uh, you swing both handed with your quarter staff and find good purchase on the side of his head. You crack him a good one. You, you hear the cracking uh, of the skull and he kind of sways a little bit to the left, but still keeps his charge. And he's going to make two attacks on your boy. Bring it the freak on. <laughs> uh, one of them will hit. Uh, and you'll take eight points of damage. I knock the other one away with my damn shield. Yeah, you. so you, you parry the first one with the shield, uh, and he follows it up with a hit uh, another uh, dagger in his left hand, and he stabs and gets you in the midsection, uh, and you'll, you'll take eight points of damage. And then, Vili, you're up. Oh, are you adjusting my hit points, too? Is that why it was being weird? Uh, I can, if you'd like. No, I got it. It was just okay, jumping got around. All right, Lily is going to place himself right here. Now, for some reason, this does not cast automatically at second level, but I want it to be second level. So, all oh, the fire effects. And okay. then I get another d6 onto that. Yes. So, seven plus. And you're choosing three people to not hit? Yep. Because okay, it's so second level. All your compatriots. Yeah. Yes. Well, I wouldn't well, pick the got, other guys. It just got <laughs> warm. Well, he might. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be eight, eight total damage. points of damage. Yeah. All right. So that is just enough to burn uh, to a crisp the man that, tack that dared to attack Ignatius. I got you back, Iggy. I appreciate it, short stuff. It's like that scene in the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Ignatius, you're up. Uh I am going to how does everyone look? Is anybody bleeding profusely? Oh, by the way, yeah, the pretty captain would have taken that too. <laughs> what do I have? Two more and that was eight. Is that, eight. Was yes. that enough distance? How much is it? Fifteen feet? I believe so. Let's see. What do I have? Three yep. first level spell yep. slots okay, so, left in one second level. Uh, that will actually also finish off burning the uh, the captain to a crisp. So everyone oh, kind of covers and feels the heat wrap around them. That's a uh, dexterity to grab the hat. <laughs> so I was about to say. I uh, want to grab the hat so, with my trunk. Okay, Pick it so, up but, with yeah, the arrow. Give, give, me a, give me a dex off. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Uh, Tantor, give me a dexterity save. You guys are going to measure your dex. A save? <laughs> My dex uh, is uh, bigger uh, than yours! Yeah, well, just a dex check, yeah. Thank you, Ash. I know the barbarian <laughs> Oh my is god. Really hurt. Okay, so my attack, just just so everybody knows, <laughs> just so everybody that's been watching up to this point is aware, my attack is a plus seven, and I haven't hit anyone. And in in grabbing the hat with a dex check, with a plus three to dex, I got a 21. I'll tell you what, that trunk knows how to work it. That's so because you were motivated. As the motivated body is, is turning to ash... And both uh, both uh, Tantor, Mantar, and Thorntooth uh, both see that the hat is about to be blown away in the wind. They both leap uh, for the hat. Uh, however, Tantor, Mantar's dexterous uh, nose beats out Thorntooth, <laughs> and he whips it out in front of him. Uh, and you now have an unidentified dapper hat in your I'm putting it on Tantor. my head. Okay. Willa! Da, 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 what? Da, da, da. Turn the ship to the... Is it port or starboard? Port! Left! Uh, sure. Cut okay. the rope! Do they Did just the... give up now? Uh, you, you don't know if they're giving up yet or not. But Should if we... you cut the rope and turn the ship, you got the hat. Did they not just all fall down like Ultron clones when we killed the boss? No, no, they did not all just fall down. 
That's so true. I'm actually, I have no further motivation to fight. I, I have my hat, so. I haven't had motivation to fight this whole time. All okay. right, well, screw the red liquid then. All right, bye. <laughs> cut the rope. All right, so <laughs> Thorn Tooth, you jump up, cut the rope. Uh, Willie, you navigate everyone off to uh, starboard. To starboard? No, port. <laughs> port is left. Ugh. Ugh. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take our uh, our break. Everyone go to the bathroom, get a drink, replenish up. We'll come back in, say, five minutes. One more. Uh, one more we'll second be before on a, we go. On a quick I don't know why I just... I don't know why I just fell into my character voice to say one more second before we go. Um, we had a couple more donations before we left. We had Corey Z donated $2 and said Trogdor the Burninator, which I had to bring up because it's from Strong Bad, like the best thing that's ever been on the internet. Uh, Jeff Tillis donated 5 bucks because we got the hat. Hey, and he Jeff. said he dubs yeah. Chaz Captain Shakespeare of the Sky Vessel Casper Team. I'll take it. And Gallon, whose profile picture is just a <laughs> gallon of milk, <laughs> said, "said just use your trunk to hold the swords. Duh. Oh, well, I can't. I can't well, do yeah, that. Te technically, yeah. It, it is expressly. Chaz tried to do that already. So um, now. It's expressed that it can't hold a weapon. So now we are going to take a five to ten minute break. Uh, we tried to get Yazic music during this break. We couldn't figure out the techniques of it. But hopefully next week we'll be able to play some good music for you guys during the break. Open another tab and go watch one of Chaz's music videos during the break. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you can always do that. It's a good idea. See you in five, right. guys. Bye, we'll guys. <laughs>
Hello, everyone. We're back. We're back. Um, so a dinosaur we, story. We. Oh my God, that movie rules. You're welcome for that bit of nostalgia. The first one's free. Jesus, we've been playing Final Fantasy VII, me and Ethan. That's just nostalgia personified. Oh. I like wish I had less work time uh, in the day so I could just play more of it. Uh, <laughs> chapter 13, crew, what? what? Um, that, that game's amazing. Uh, if you haven't gotten it yet, it's a great way to spend your quarantine time. Even if you didn't play the original Final Fantasy, it's just it's just a good game. But if you're old like me, like 35 to 40, and you did play the original, you will have nostalgia out the butt. I see Al glaring at me through the uh, monitor <laughs> for saying that. The moment I said it, his eyes narrowed. You're a child. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back to the game. Uh, our party has uh, devastated another ship and stolen them of their captain. Uh, and then and and his hat. captain's hat and paraded right. away. Uh, Tantor Mantar, go ahead and add uh, hat, try, uh, try point hat to your inventory. Oh, it's a try point hat? Yeah. How do I do that? Uh, so if you go to your inventory, in. yep, and you, there'll be a button that you should be able to have that just add. It's like a plus there, and then just type it in. Should be right there under equipment. Ah, I see. And while Chaz is adding that, we got a two dollar donation from Spawn because he has also been pleased with the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a little bit of an echo coming from someone. Uh, it is probably me. Uh, I'm just on my laptop. Everything now because we were having issues with uh, my. <laughs> My cat's uh, having an asthma attack. Cat in the background having an asthma attack. <laughs> I'm you. So you guys uh, are hearing a cat almost die with an echo. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, because I'm on my laptop because uh, apparently my headphone was having a static problem going on with it. So we're going old school. Um, but we are now back uh, on the ship and uh, sailing along. Now, y'all are still on the same heading that y'all were beforehand, uh, making your way uh, in the in the general direction of uh, waypoint number two. Making our way downtown. Um, yes. Yeah. So you're uh, it, <laughs> it's fast. specifically uh, northeast waypoint number two, um, two dash three, two dash three, meaning the lanes between level two and level three. So where uh, to, Captain? It will take uh, probably about another four or five hours to get there. All right. Uh, so you do have a little bit resting. of downtime. Get a rest. I'm going to tend to the oranges. I'm going to sleep. How does my hat fit? Um, <laughs> not very well. I mean, your your head's pretty big uh, for the hat. How so dare you, custom sir? hat. What do you do? I need a custom one, but that but I don't know where that guy got it made. Didn't he say? Did he say who made it? He did not. He said he would I trade was, that information for assistance, and I then was killed him. Gonna ask that, and then you guys shot a spear thing at him, or tried to make him go to sleep, or whatever you did. Hey, uh, Tantor. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Can I see the inside of the hat real quick? Uh -oh. All right, but this is my hat. Yes, I know. I just want to see it, it. Take a look inside. Maybe I can find where it was made. Maybe they does Justin have signature. the highest? Does Justin have the highest intelligence? Olivia, what's your intelligence? I don't. <laughs> uh, intelligence is um, thirteen. Well, we do have a wizard. Yes. Actually, I could okay, just I, ask. Actually, I'm just gonna ask him. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know Thorntooth. I'm gonna ask Villy. Hey, you don't Billy. know me. We're riding on the same ship. Villy. <laughs> yeah, boss. <laughs> what you uh, got? See if you could find out where this hat came from. Um. Let's see. 
He's on the side. It to him. Was the captain's name Robert Hall? <laughs> uh, no, it was not. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I don't, is there anything written in the hat? Oh, I got uh, to do. There, there was no discerning um, markings on the hat to show like who made it or anything. However, when you uh, gain, like, touch the hat, gain possession of the hat, you feel like a, a, a vibration in the air around the hat. Oh, it's a magical hat, is it? Well, let me know when I've slept long enough to be able to cast... Uh... Did Did you say that? I did, I, yes. Hey, uh, hey, Captain, do you mind if I have a look at the, uh, at the, the three-sided headpiece there? For what? Uh, well, he said it might be magic. I can tell you at least sort of what kind of magic it is, I think. Oh, good. Figure it out. Fantastic. Uh, and I'm going to cast Detect Magic on the hat. Or just Detect Magic in general, but I'm aiming for what school of magic the hat is from. Okay, so... Okay, so you sit there and you, you concentrate on it. <clears throat> and you can tell that this, this is a magical hat. It is uh, of a, a low magic power and low magic aura. Uh, and it is from the... Uh, whatever was cast on it is from an illusory school of magic. So, uh, <laughs> so Captain, I don't know exactly what this here hat does. But it's going to do something involving illusions. So it might make you look different or sound different. It's got something to do with some sneakiness. Uh, is there a way that Vili can uh, do detect to see if he can get more info? He said he was tired, and that's why I did it. Yeah, you oh, see, yeah, until true. I sleep, I have to memorize. The... I told you about that. You know, it's not like we can remember everything. I know that uh, Iggy, his spells are different. He goes, Wooga da booga da wooga da wooga da. Hey, God, give me the spell. And if he's been a good boy, then he gets the spell. Uh, we got to work for me, it. Excuse me, there, short stuff. Yes? I would, uh, I would appreciate it if you referred to Sharindla by her name and uh, not just by it. God. We do live in a polytheistic society. I would like you to reference the god that I worship specifically. Thank you. What was that name again? It's uh, Sharindla. And I right. guarantee between my accent and only reading it, the chat will have some words about my pronunciation. No it looks like you had to look down at a sheet of paper to read that. Are you <laughs> no, too sure of your god? Or hoogada, boogada, woogada, woogada, Sharindla, give me some spells. Sharindla. corrected, Iggy. Clo close enough. <laughs> Why are we not figuring out where my hat was made? Because they didn't write it on the inside. You see, he takes off his hat. He says, you see, in mine, it says, made in Taiwan. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to come strolling up above deck with some oranges and a basket. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, I'm coming try to see what you guys are up to now uh so you see all of your compatriots are uh gathered around each other let's let's actually gather everyone uh, around each other i'm gonna god's gonna reach down and move everyone real quick so we're all gathered around the helm it's uh shandry and uh and they're looking at a hat I mean, look at this hat. It's worth looking at, right? Uh, looks like, uh, Ignatius and Billy are kind of day. arguing about uh, theological semantics uh, a little bit as well, but mostly just they're 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 staring intently at that tripoint hat. We're gonna run into something, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say that. So, uh, what's going on with this hat here? It has some kind of hickory dickory doodah magic to it, and the captain wants to know more about it and or where it was made. 
Was that concise enough? Yeah, that's about all right. Thank you, Captain. Well, we'll look at it. Is it a leather hat? Or is it a felt hat? Well, you can assume from the material it's made of where that might have been sourced from. I mean, his hands were just on it, so it's definitely been felt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know anything about material. Well, I just got a 23 on investigation. I should at least be able to figure out what it is. What it's made uh, so of. It, it is um, made of a very fine silk. So it is It is a very fine, uh, very like nice looking tri-point hat. Uh, it has a reinforced uh, inlay to keep it nice and you know, reinforced and structured, uh, but the rest of it is is a nice silk uh, overlay. Oh, I just it. had I just had an idea all by myself. It was only me that had the idea just now. <laughs> all right, I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put the the hat the hat on my trunk. <laughs> So as you as you put the hat uh, on your trunk, uh, on a, a spot that will actually fit on your head, um, you look really dapper. Uh, and everyone like around how you. Dapper? Are we talking? Well, uh, damn, Captain, that's the best I've ever seen you look. Yeah, do you? So you've the best you've hat. ever looked in your entire life. What does that mean for me, mechanically? <laughs> uh, mechanically it means you look better than you've looked in your entire life uh, out of character uh, this is a hat of dapperness uh, it gives you a plus one to your charisma when you wear oh it. dude well I'm always wearing this I'm gonna wear uh, I'm gonna wear the hat like this forever we just had a five dollar donation from Corporal Steve who points out that magic items adjust to the size of the user, so you shouldn't need to may have one specifically made for you, Captain. Eh, rules is written, but this is better. It's a nose hat. I agree. <laughs> I agree. All hail the nose trunk. Nose trunk. Nose hat. Nose trunk. Trunk hat. Trunk hat. Trunk it. <laughs> yeah, the trunk it. You thought you were going for a trinket? But it turns out it was a truck it. But so, uh, as you all are perusing around this hat and investigating what's what's going on with it, now that the captain looks professionally captain like, uh, y'all are continuing on when you hear what the, it, it's. It seems like it's coming from uh, from underneath you. So uh, about 200 feet down, there is a, a thin layer of clouds uh, as y'all are sailing in the open skies. And uh, as you hear a noise uh, coming out, it, it sounds like a very loud, very large noise, uh, kind of like a whale, um, or like a whale cry uh, from below. Are Holy we aware? Stop. Are we aware of sky whales? I think we are now. Well, there's sky jellyfish. So that's true. Go ahead and do a perception there. Okay. So, uh, even with that that low perception, <laughs> <laughs> you ever, uh, you run to the edge. Uh, everyone looking. I got out, a good one. Uh, Everyone's looking out. Uh, Chaz, uh, Tantor, you see that you you peer through the clouds a little bit, and you you see the ripples in the clouds as a pod. Uh, so you see it first before anyone else. So a pod of sky whales breaches through the clouds, and just starts kind of uh, like flying uh, next to y'all very lazily, just kind of real like real easy. You know, gently just kind of making their way. Uh, and now these creatures are huge. Uh, I mean, they have pretty decent for their their uh, their size fly speed. Uh, normally they are very gentle themselves uh, unless they are provoked 
uh, in any way. And um, some people do hunt them, but with great difficulty as they're, they're very capable of defending themselves uh, as they're the size of ships themselves. However, if they're undisturbed, they're a very Ow. peaceful species, and they just kind of travel along. This is majestic, you guys. I'm glad we can experience this as a group of friends. I'm going to casually Ow. walk over here and load a bolt. Oh, no. Okay. I was going to try to talk to them. Just casually, just in case. Oh, yeah, she can talk to them. Talk to the whales. Okay. Elf lady, uh, talk to the whales. I got the wheel for you, Captain. Good old WW, the whale whisperer over here. <laughs> oh, great whale. Where, where, are you? <laughs> where is your path taking you? And the the whale kind of like it kind of stops, and it, oh. you'd see it turn its head. Um, actually, I might be able to. I know something in whale language. Oh. Barrett Doc. That's Welsh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while Ethan is figuring out what the whales say, Rimothy Logbone donated $5. Good name, that's, sir. That's the best name. Uh, it says, uh-oh, the hat that makes people want to bone you uncontrollably. It's the classic irresistible hat scheme. And Spawn donated $2 just to point out that it's Moby Blimp. Also, let the record show that uh, Tantor Mantar does not need a hat to be irresistible. Because he's got two bones sticking out of his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Yeah, a lot of people like that buck teeth look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So everyone should be able to uh, now see in their journals. Yes. Oh, uh, it's majestic. Whoa. That is what the sky whales look like. Look at this beautiful creature. Yeah, that we should a, and there, there are that picture. currently uh, there are the three sky walking. whales uh, that are in the, the pod uh, by your ships right now. Uh, and they are trailed by you know, some... Uh, some other birds and uh, and bugs, and there are a couple actual jellies that are following uh, behind it as well in its wake. And one of them turns its head slowly towards uh, the ship and goes, Hello. <laughs> we do not normally hear from creatures as you. That is interesting. So I have an idea, guys. If I can get these whales to cooperate, do you think we could tie a rope to one of them and get us where we're going faster? Are they are they faster than us? I don't uh, know. They they do not have a fly speed faster than y'all. They're just oh. big. Uh, oh. <laughs> Man, I was trying to go fast. Yeah, are they so, being are they being friendly, elf lady? What's your name? Willa. Willow, I don't know if I actually met you before this trip, Willow. You seem lovely, though. Anyway, are they nice? Yeah, yeah, they're real nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. Friendly neighborhood sky whales, you know. Uh, and they, they've kind of now, like, corralled around uh, the ship. Uh-oh. Because uh, they're oh. now very interested. <laughs> uh, and you all, they... And you, you see, it is a very... Um, you see intelligence in their eyes. Uh, hmm. it, it's not like it's not like the normal animal intelligence um, that you the see in animals. They they look at you know they're smarter than the average bear, as you know some people in the old world would say. Hey, uh, hey, Willow, ask them if they like oranges. Do you like oranges? I hate oranges. <laughs> not the not the elephant, the whale. We have never had an orange. Well, do I have an offer for you? <laughs> ah, she's got props. 
Uh, you want to try to throw a whale to uh, a whale to an orange, an orange to a whale? <laughs> sure. I'll donate one of my oranges to the whales for a good cause. You know, you know, making friends. Hey, just like Rimothy donated five more dollars. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> segue, wasn't it? I have, uh, I have said, a laying. Thank you, Rimothy. He said, shouldn't the guy with the magic charismatic hat talk to the whales? But someone else in chat pointed out that uh, Elephant Boy can't talk to whales. Oh, Corporal only Steve, uh, Willa right now can speak with animals. Corporal well, Steve can... wants somebody to pick up the potion that's still laying on the deck. <laughs> and yeah. Corey Zanotti says that they're just intimidated by the size of Chaz's trunk. Hey, dude, how about this? Uh, all of that's awesome. Thank you all. Uh, <laughs> do you, uh, d d is that going to be, are we allowed to read chat? Is that metagaming? I'm only doing that for yeah, the absolutely. donations. I'm not using, I'm only metagaming if they donate to us. I, I'll agree with oh, that. Oh, I like that plan. <laughs> I'll, I'll agree with that. Uh, paid metagaming is the only metagaming I deal with. Yeah, I've, there have been a couple suggestions in chat that I just have not paid attention to, but if they give us money to tell us that we're fucking up, I will take that. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, so you, you reach uh, over and, uh, and try to feed the whale. Uh, go ahead and... Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give, give me a handle animal check. Hmm. And it like like this thing's like this is actually for, for sky whale size. This sky whale is big. He, he's on the the big end of the spectrum of size for sky whales. He looks to be uh, usually adult sky whales get to be about uh, awesome. even with the average size of a ship. This one's like a ship and a half uh, size. Uh, its mouth comes to like about from the front of the ship to about here on uh on the boat so it's pretty big uh so, and whether it just kind of opens up its maw and you just kind of dangle over and you throw about six or seven oranges at it uh or in its mouth. <laughs> whole not peeled or anything it's gotta have the whole experience it just it, its mouth crashes uh down together and uh, everyone go ahead and give me dexterity saves. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. Oh, boy. Hey, by the way, this is just like a laying the groundwork question, but how many oranges do you think we have? Can I grow infinite oranges? Uh, oranges do take time uh, to grow. Currently, you have uh, 48 oranges. Oh. What are we doing? Dex saves? Yes. I read a book one time called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, so we might have a problem if we don't have supply to meet demand. <laughs> I don't know I why my uh, deck save is not coming out. What am I doing wrong? I know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I didn't do a save. Gosh, dang it. I'm a dummy. Ooh. I just did a regular <laughs> dex. Can I just add uh, uh, two to it? So it'd be a 20. Did I oh, there you go. Thing? The first one should have been the right one. It just right. it delayed for so, a long time. As uh, as I the know, right. whale's mouth crashes together, it's right next to the ship. So just the force of this maw coming together uh, sends out a burst of wind. Uh, it rocks the ship a little bit, uh, and Billy, you're knocked off of your uh, off of your feet, and you go sliding back to the uh, the guardrail. Oh, my screen's all. Uh, weird everyone again. else is able to stay up. And <laughs> oh god, that Willa, don't don't jump! Oh off. No, don't jump! My screen is being weird again. Hold on. Uh, oh, I, no. I think they like the oranges, guys. I think they enjoyed them. <laughs> you hear like a you just. It's not even like really. Bo it's like a um, like a so like sing songy noise that the uh, whale is doing. Will you're able to? You're still able to speak and commune with the animals. Uh, you are uh, able to discern that this is a uh, mood of happiness. This is good. It's a new experience that they are uh, enjoying. Uh, and this is what they're all about. I mean, these are ancient creatures uh, that just very docile and trying to make their way. Uh, he 
asks, And where are you going? Northeast? Where were we going? <laughs> to find out where this hat was made? Yeah, I was going to say that earlier, uh, that we could follow up with uh, that guy's thing, and maybe they can know where it's made. So I can get one like it for my head. So you want to go? Out? That's going to be the new fashion. Uh, w uh, Willa, do you relay that? Um. Yeah, sure. I'll ask them where where they think the hat was made. Okay. Uh, so they reply, "We do not really deal with <laughs> uh, human matters." However, we do know the nearest town is about, for us, <laughs> a month's journey, which you would call a month, from here, with your flying vessel, it would probably take a few days. Perhaps. I'm just looking at her like this guy down talking. To... What's going on? <laughs> yeah, she's just been listening <laughs> to this thing relieved. make squealing noises for like 20 minutes. What's going on? <laughs> so the whale says that we'll be to the nearest town in a few days. Uh, he's not really sure where the hat was made, but our best bet is going to the nearest town. I mean, if the hat was too small for the captain, it wouldn't really do much for our friend here. Hey, what's his name? What is your name, whale? Mr. Whale. My name. Must be really long. <laughs> Is Barry. <laughs> hey, I think that whale just said Barry. Well, it's nice to meet you, Barry. I was right. Uh, before we head and to then, the next town, Rimothy donated five more dollars and said it's totally metagaming, but he's not good at D&D, &D, so it evens out. <laughs> and Deweese Life said it's a good thing we didn't fight the whales like we fought the beavers in our old D&D &D game. Oh, God, no. <laughs> if it went anywhere like it did with the beavers. Good Lord. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Hey, uh, by the way, um, is that vial on the ship? Yeah, 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 that that vial of red liquid has been on the ship this entire time. Yeah, someone paid to tell us that. We're getting static again somehow. Yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <All right>, so <laughs> <laughs> that didn't just freak me out. Well, I'm going to say the captain is entitled to the potion on the deck, and he can decide what to do with it. Well, I want to see if Billy knows what it is. Hey, look, what is this? Well, according to my careful pressed digitations, uh, have I has it been long enough that I can do detect magic? Um, it hasn't been like y'all haven't fully rested yet. Y'all will fully rest, um, you know, before you get to the next town. Uh, but y'all you know, have not fully rested yet. I mean, it's, it's only been like two hours. I mean, I don't have detect magic, but I saw the captain dude drink it and then feel better so I can sort of deduce what it is. I did a 16 on investigation, if that helps. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess um, I did the usual open it up, look at it, smell it. It... <laughs> It's a red liquid that, uh, from also what your um, companion Ignatius said, that it, it, you know, a red liquid in a vial of the same color that other captain drank and it healed him. Uh, it does smell very bitter. Uh, you can deduce it's probably a healing potion, but you're not 100% sure on that, uh, since it, this could just be another potion of the same color. I'm guessing healing potion, does this help? 
Up, oh, it is a uh, potion of cure wounds. <laughs> there you go, cat. Potion of cure wounds. I probably should give it to Iggy since he's in the healing business. I mean, I'll take it. I'll always have use for something that doesn't waste any of my uh, magical prowess. I always like the uh, potions. Nice hand work. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, um, does also just just because I want to tell this joke in this voice, Ryan just donated ten dollars and said, "Bury the whale. Where are you going? My brain." P. Sherman, forty-two Wallaby Way, Sydney, Australia. Finding Nemo joke, Justin. Yep. Oh, get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Just how you at I wasn't screen. the only one not laughing. <laughs> I didn't understand it. <laughs> so, uh, the the nearest town that the that uh, the whale Miss Barry uh, is talking about is the uh, town of Valifor. It is uh, mostly run by elves, and uh, the town is. Uh, a loose word. Uh, it's more like a, a giant floating forest landmass, uh, and that that is the nearest settled structure that isn't like a waypoint. It does sit on the uh, third level, uh, so it's it's pretty well off. Uh, it's not great, but you know, kind of in the middle of everything. How many um, levels are there? There are nine in total. <laughs> Does this homebrewed land that you've invented hold the inherent uh, dwarf and elf uh, battle that exists in most of the Forgotten Realms universe? Because of the the distance between a lot of like the you know races, like I mean, they uh, races are, are prevalent, spread out everywhere, uh, but they there are of course pockets of a lot of land masses that are just mostly one race and, and another. Uh, there's not a whole lot of interaction, you know, race to race. Uh, so they don't hold a whole lot of animosity. There's been so much time and generations since when they were like, everyone was one land, like, you know, all on the ground level and underneath the clouds before all this happened, uh, that not a lot of people remember you know, kind of race wars like that. So, so it's not like the systemic racism that usually exists in D and D. It's like Firefly, where everybody forgot that different races used to hate each other. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, that the uh, the whales, as they're kind of just like kind of lazily going along, and y'all are uh, picking up speed past them, uh, no. kind of give uh, a, a chorus of goodbye. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try to do it, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, did you, it work? You, did it work? Oh my god, are you a whale? Yeah, you think it worked? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I feel good for the rest of the trip. And then we'll, uh, as as the party is making their way onto their next destination, wherever it might be, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll end there for the night, and we'll pick up next week. All that right. was a whale of a good time, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, so, yeah, we're going to end here for the evening. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Uh, much appreciation for all of the views and especially the donations. Um, certainly helps us keep doing stuff like this. Um, oh, yeah, I got one back. more. Oh, yeah? Rip Rimothy Logbone, who still has my favorite name. It's great. Says that, and I will do the hand motion with it, Magical Prowess is the name of his hair metal band. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I, I would listen to them. Yes, uh, Golden Fox, I've seen your question. Um, at the moment, we're <laughs> not doing, uh, we're not inviting anyone else in, uh, mostly just because we're kind of getting used to this and starting this campaign. But I think that as we, you know, if we find success in it and, and continue forward with it, then. I think that in the future there'll there'll definitely be some opportunity for doing some one shots where some people can come in and we can kind of figure out a way to get some get some fans involved. And we might have a few more guests coming up. There is no guarantee of any of that, but a couple of us are trying to get people on the shows. And uh, I mean, I've I, in back of my noggin, uh, I've got 
you know, a few more one shot ideas I can just pull out of nowhere if we, you know, end up doing something like that where we just have a nothing but guests kind of one shot. Um, but as, as Chaz was saying, that's not anything that's 100% yet. Uh, we're just trying to get the groundwork going. And obviously, as you can see, World 20 is still kind of new to a lot of us. Um, so we kind of want to get all the kinks out before we start inviting other people into it. Rimothy Logbone is trying to get me to say his name a lot. He donated 20 more dollars and said he was getting frustrated setting up his own stream, so he's glad he caught this. He loves us. <laughs> oh, thank Aww. you, Rimothy. Rimothy, a tip Thanks, man. of the dumb hat. I love him, and I assume his large beard because his avatar is a cartoon, but it has a big beard. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, everybody. We'll be back here when next Wednesday. 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 Wednesday.